morning yes another day in my life it is 4 53 a.m and i'm going to glasgow to cut somebody's hair i'm whispering and not shouting because my children are asleep my wife is asleep and i'm about to leave the house to jump in the addison lee to cut marvin hume's hair at the bbc center so you know not loads of action-packed things which are going to be happening today but just stay tuned and see what happens it could be delayed there might not be delayed there could be complications no complications it might run super smooth and it might not stay with me let's go and it's flat across First of all, I can't even find my cab driver because he wasn't outside my flat and um, I'm coming to the other side of my flat and he doesn't seem to be here either and he's not messaging me back. Where is he? Let's call him. Yes, hello. Hello, good morning. Um, Where are you, please? Um, I came outside my house. I went up the road. I can't find you. Um, I, I think I was inside. See, it's I think I'm just, you know, the road like um, it takes me into... Um, where is this? Where, where are you right now? What's that say? Something center. Okay, I'll walk there. Yes, I have found the cab driver there. Addison Lee. Let's go. I've checked, done all my checks, made sure the most important thing I've got on me, which is my passport and my clippers, because without that, I can't cut. So, if I forgot anything else, at least I got my tools and my travel kit. walking into the airport right now. It was a very quick journey. It took me like 20 minutes to get to the airport. And um, I'm wearing this big jacket and it's not actually cold in London, but when you're going across, I can't, across the borders, it might be warm here, but cold over there. And when I checked the weather, it was saying that it was colder and raining. So got the big warm puffer on. Whenever I travel, I always have to drop my bags in a different place. Which one am I? I am Glasgow. There I am. I have checked in my bag with my clippers in it. Now I'm going to go through boarding. Amazing. I made it through customs, although I did get searched. They had to... You know, okay, uh, there's nothing even behind me right now. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I can film, but make sure I do not get any of like the security area or anything like that. I made it through customs, though my watch set it off. So I had to get like, not strip searched, but you know, searched, you know, take off your shoes, swipe down or what kind of stuff there. You know, before I went in, I said, oh, should I take my watch off? And the lady said to me, no, it'll be fine. But then that's what set it off. And then as procedure, they have to fully search you. And I was like, oh, and I started thinking to myself, if the lady said the watch is fine and getting searched right now, I started getting worried, thinking, is there something on me? What, what could it be? Just started getting nervous. But yeah, it was fine. And now I'm I'm through customs and I'm waiting for my, um, what do you call it? Your, not your boarding, whatever what you call it, your platform, not your platform, you know what I'm talking about anyway. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill, charge my phone and maybe edit a video for Instagram. Yes, that's what it is, I remember now, waiting for my gate to come up to tell me what gate I'll be going to. It's telling me it's gonna come up in about 40 minutes, so I've got time just to chill. So let me just go sit down and relax and wait for my gate number to show. Just gonna do a quick Instagram because I'm also letting people know what I'm doing today. In the airport, guys, everything was kind of smooth except for getting searched because I went through my watch. Even though before I went through, I said to the lady, oh, I need to take my watch off. And she said to me, oh, no, no, it's fine. And then I had to take off my shoes, give me full search and all that kind of stuff there. But outside of that, all smooth. Gate number eight. Landed. About to go pick up my bags now. Where is my bag? Been here for quite a while and there isn't actually a lot of bags which have been checked in. Like the flight was... Okay, so it stopped, which is almost saying that all the bags have come out, but my bag has not come out. And my bag has my clippers in it. So let's go find out what's happened because no clippers, no trim, no cut. <laughs> Only about four bags came out. And that's, that's what I was just saying, like, why did it take so long? Because there isn't many bags checked in. It was an empty flight. Baggage delivery completed. Look at this. But it's not completed because my stuff isn't here. Where's my bag? Where do I even go to right now to find out what's happened to my bags? As I said earlier on, you know, um, it's, it's going to be straightforward, but you just never know. Things like this happen. So my bag's not here. <laughs> I've come here to cut hair. My clippers are in my bag. No bag. Uh, let's see. This is where I'm told I have to call. I got told to speak to British Airways at check-ins as a last result. The number they gave me is not picking up. All the places to go to and speak to, they're all closed. And it's just like, okay, what do I do? So now I think I'm having to go and find a local salon shop to buy clippers to do this haircut. And I have to keep calling this number to eventually get through to them so that I can get my bag back with all my stuff. Yeah, I'm walking out to the taxi now. So this is where I'm at on my journey. I'm having to go find a local 
shop that sells clippers. What I'd say is, as I live my life, mistakes happen, things happen, things come in your way, but ultimately the best thing to do is just to focus on what you can do because everything that's out of your control is literally out of your control. So focus on what you can do and that's all I'm doing right now. I'm not gonna stress about it because what's stressing me to do, it's not gonna bring my bag back. It's not, I'm not gonna make the people pick up the phone because I've been calling, calling. Every spot in the airport's closed. It's just like, <laughs> it seems ridiculous, but it is what it is. So yeah, focus on what I can do right now. So let's try and buy some clippers and then, you know, think about afterwards, you know, what do I do with these clippers? Do I get a refund? Do I get compensated? I don't know, but for now, the objective is that I need to cut Martin's hair. Whether or not things have come in my way because that's nothing to do with him even though it's not my fault, but I'll do what I can. So we're here, today's Monday, they open at 8.30. Yes, they are open. This is Salon Services. Let's see if they can help me out. Hello there. Um, Do you sell clippers here? Barber clippers, cutting clippers. Thank you. What do we have here? Okay, I'm here to cut someone's hair and the uh, airplane has blocked my bag. So I need to just buy clippers just to cut hair right now. I'm vlogging it. Uh, you know, I, I, I said I've done a day in my life. And in, funny enough, this morning I said to myself, uh, even on the camera, I said, it's just gonna be straightforward. I'm just going to cut hair and come back. But I said, but I'm vlogging it anyway, because you never know what might happen. And this has happened. So I guess I'll get myself a senior. My motto is always put your energy into the things you have control over and the rest is out of your hands. So just focus on what you can do, which is what I'm doing now. Trying to get some clippers and everything like that. My card's been declined. No, it's gone through now. <laughs> yes, please. Second chance. Is a, what do they say? Second time is a charm, stuff like that. <laughs> In the taxi on the way to go and get a wall cordless detailer because I could have bought the cordless one, but because I wouldn't use it again, it feels like a waste of money. I could give it away, but it's best to go buy something which I'm going to reuse because, you know, these things cost money. So I'm doing that and I spoke to the client the client has a bit of time on his hands and I worked out the time as of what time I'd get there and what time my flight is to go back to London and it works out that I'd have enough time to still go get the um, war quarter detailer from this other location which is about 25 minutes away go cut the client's hair and get back for my flight so I've decided to go with this option to do that because if I'm going to have to keep these tools and I'm not going to be refunded or compensated you know by the airport or anyone like that then I might as well get tools which I'm going to reuse so yeah we're on the way there now i'll tell you something though guys this bill on the taxi is running up i think this bill's going to end up being a um well let's see what the bills are going to end up being <laughs> all right next to the location salon services have i got my what sorry no i haven't you have a barber i'm a barber yeah i don't think where i'm from they don't even have these shops around so i don't think i totally use it okay how long does it take like, <laughs> okay so guys i've been swindled into signing up to a um, not swindled but i've been swindled into signing up for a card so i can get a discount they've swindled me to give me a discount which is um, a robbery <laughs> they're robbing me for my time but saving me on money but yeah i'm here i've got the cordless detailer and i'm out now finally to the destination <sighs> we're making it happen as i said you focus on the things you have control over and everything else is out of your control so you just leave it leave it to god oh okay it's been a journey we're here now but i never got told that he is shooting so I have to cut him in between shoots now. So now it's going to be even tighter because I have to board at 12.45. They want me to cut his hair now at 12 p.m. It is now like, I don't know, 20 past 10. They want me to cut his hair at 12 p.m., cut him by 12.15, get to the airport by 12.30. Then, yeah, it's all tight right now. We'll do what we can. Okay. All right, now I need to adjust the blade because they don't come adjusted. Adjusting the blades. Why am I rushing? Just slow down, take my time. No rush. When you first get blade, they come very sharp. When you first use them, they're like, they're so fresh, they're super sharp. So often, a lot of times, you end up cutting people. I know L cuts as this technique, which is the first week or two weeks of using your clipper, your blade, sorry, you should just use them to shave people, just to take the edge off it so they doesn't cut people. But I haven't got that option right now because I have to use them straight away, so I can't take the edge off. So I've got to be super careful to make sure I do not cut him. Testing out on myself. Because if I get a message from him later on or tomorrow, my heart's gonna like, start beating heavy because I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, I must have cut him. He'll be messaging me to say, yo bro, you left some scars on me. And then I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, we're not doing that today. As I always tell barbers, when you get a fresh blade and you just adjusted them, the first guinea pig has to be you. Please feel good. You want to see something else which is funny? I bought capes, right? But I just thought, you know, let me just buy one of these kind of like, you know, um, disposable capes. This is what was inside. So I'm just finding things like, found some towel, wrapped that around him. Um, yeah, just, just figuring it out. It is two minutes past 12. 
Yeah, I'm starting to push it. My client's not in here yet. I've been told he's going to be here in five minutes, which means that will be 13 minutes past. Let's see what happens. Yes. <laughs> what a day he's had. Woke up this morning, thinking everything was going to be all right. He lost his bag. Not his fault, of course. But was that the end for Slider? No, <laughs> then. Slider found a way. <laughs> Making it happen. Made it happen. Found a shop, got the goods, made the trim happen. Okay, we haven't got a cape. <laughs> uh, not all superheroes wear capes. So I'm that's, saying. That's the truth. I'm talking about Mark, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Sorry for the. Uh, it's not your fault. You know, the airline. inconvenience today. British Airways, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Absolute pro, as always. All right. Oh my God, let's get it moving. I need to go catch this flight. Let's try. Let's try. Do you think I can do it? Marvin believes in me. Do you guys believe in me? <laughs> I think it's like half past three, so you get to Heathrow at five, and then we'll just get your taxi straight home or whatever yeah. you want. Whatever, what, whatever happens, that okay. will, if I get on a flight, I'm it's so, not. So sorry. It's in, yes. Yeah, okay. And obviously, we'll, I'll chase up your baggage and I'll let you. Katie's chasing it as well. And when I, when I land there, I'll speak to them when I get in there as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Look at me, Albert. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's 12.35, 12.36 right now. And we're on the way to the airport. And the cab man said he's gonna do his best to get me there as soon as possible. So always love for the black taxis because they know the routes. They're not the new age drivers that use sat nav everywhere. They know where they're going. What I actually do is in my head, I say a little prayer at these times. And I'm like, God, please help me to catch this flight. That's the prayer I kind of say in my head. So I'm saying it out loud so you guys can hear it as well. Okay, that's straight across, thank you. Oh, okay, <laughs> now we're running. Running. I got stopped in security because of my clippers, which is what I thought might happen. Oh, where are the gates? Right, let's go. I think I made it. You know, passport or boarding. Thank you. And I made it. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. I made it. Now. Oh. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Back in London, Heathrow. I think there's a cab here waiting for me. It's a wet day, rainy and wet. Oh, I'm so glad I caught the flight. I'm back in London. Hopefully, the traffic on the way home shouldn't be that bad because it's about two. 30 to 40 and because my bag was already lost on the way up here um i don't have to wait for no baggage reclaim or you know anything like that because i've got no bag all right looking for my driver i think many no nope. guess my driver's not here nope can't find my driver i was waiting for the driver i just called him and said look I can come to you. Where are you? And he said, oh, I'm a level one, bro, F or G. So I said, just come to you. Like the company was like, no, 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 you wait, you wait. And I was just like, listen, I'm not bougie, you know? I don't need this whole, oh, you're waiting outside of a sign for me. No, let me just come to you to save time. I want to get home. So he said it to me, level one, bro, G or F. I'm there, let's go. Are you driver? Yeah. Mark McIver? Yeah, no. Mark, I'm Mark McIver, yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Simples, home. What is the time? 4.46 PM, finally made it home. Still no bag though. I don't know where my bag is, but I'm home. Look at that, my children just see me. Hello, I'm back home from Glasgow. Glasgow, excuse me. I've got to go and get out of the car. I'll just start keeping them. <laughs> my wife, no, in Scotland. Huh? My wife didn't even know I was gone. How did mommy not know that I went to Scotland? <laughs> Finally home after such a long day. It is 4.48 PM. You saw everything that happened today. You never know what's going to happen. So yeah, if you like this video guys, please keep watching my videos. Click that bell notification because it'll update you every single time I post a video. I'll be doing vlogs. I'll be doing advice. I'll be doing haircut tutorials and so much more. So please keep locked in. And if you haven't subscribed already, then click that subscription button to subscribe to my channel. A day in the life of Mark McIver Slider Cuts. Peace. Guys, I got my bag back. I got my. I got my bag back. I need to check that.